SHBG production and testosterone replacement therapy. What are some things that influence your SHBG levels? This video is for people on TRT or considering TRT who do have somewhat of a basic knowledge of what SHBG is. As this video is going to be a little more advanced and talk about more of the biological nuances of what influences your SHBG levels. If you're not familiar with what SHBG is, it's an acronym that refers to sex hormone binding globulin. And SHBG is a protein that's produced from the liver. And what it does, it binds testosterone, particularly it binds it very tightly, tightly bound. And therefore, if it's really tightly bound, it's not freely available to really bind to the androgen receptor. One of the biggest non-modifiable influences on your SHBG production is your age. Now, a lot of the literature shows that roughly around the fifth-ish decade of life, meaning 50-ish years old, is when SHBG production really starts to slowly, slowly, gradually increase. Now, there's some studies that say that it may go up around in the ballpark of 1 to 3-ish percent per year. I've seen some patients that go up a little more exponentially. I've seen some patients in their 70s, 80s, and it's really not that influenced too much. But again, age seems to be one of the biggest non-modifiable factors that does increase SHPG production. This is one of the reasons why elderly patients, guys when they're 60s, 70s, if they're not on testosterone, their SHBG a lot of time can be very high and thus it'll bring down their free testosterone values. I've seen guys in their 60s and 70s with total testosterones in six and 700s, which is, that's awesome. However, their free testosterone is somewhere in the ballpark of five, six, seven, because SHBG is so high, it's essentially tightly binding all that free testosterone. So what causes that to occur? Well, in older folks, it appears to be twofold. First thing that's involved is this gene expression called HNF-alpha, or hepatocyte nuclear factor alpha. Now, HNF-alpha appears to be one of the major determinants of SHBG production and SHBG expression. And as you get older, HNF-alpha expression tends to slowly increase. Well, if HNF-alpha's expression increases and it promotes the synthesis of SHBG, then it does appear to be one of the things that contributes to a slow, steady, insidious incline in the production of SHBG. And another factor that seems to be involved in SHBG production during aging is PPR gamma. It appears that as you get older, PPR gamma activity slowly declines. Well, in relationship to SHBG production, PPR gamma has a modest inhibitory effect on SHBG production. If you're interested in learning more about testosterone replacement therapy, peptide therapy, things of that nature, give us a follow. In regards to this video, I'm gonna post some PMIDs if you wanna read a little bit more on your own. Thanks.